Sweden is a country full of waters. It has one of the longest coastlines in all of Europe and countless numbers of lakes, rivers and streaming waters. There is also a strong tradition of an outdoor culture. Over 80 years ago, when the public summer holiday was introduced, the Swedes were encouraged to engage in outdoor activities. Among these were hiking and leisure boating, something that has resulted in Sweden having the highest number of leisure boats per person in the world and a strong outdoor association. But are Swedes ocean literate? Are uh, Swedes ocean literate? Uh, it's difficult to say, but we are very interested in waters, both inland waters and marine waters. And our national authorities have identified ocean literacy or aquatic literacy to be an important factor to fulfill our national environmental objectives. We also have many different kinds of organizations working with and communicating around water issues, both related to inland waters and to marine waters. Recently we started a network in Sweden to strengthen these organizations, where we gather all kinds of aquatic educators. This network of educators include a wide variety of members ranging from municipalities to national authorities, from NGOs to private companies and of course schools, museums and science centres, all of them working to increase the knowledge and awareness of our waters, from the small stream to the larger lakes and out in the big blue ocean. Supporting these organisations and initiatives, the network enables exchange of knowledge experiences and ideas and creates opportunities for collaborations. The aim is to strengthen the educators in their professional role and through this increase the overall aquatic literacy in our country. We like to use the word aquatic literacy rather than ocean literacy in Sweden and this is to emphasize the importance to include all kinds of water into the concept and not only marine waters. By including all water bodies in the concept of ocean literacy, we aim to increase public awareness of how they're all connected, how we as humans can relate in a more profound way to our waters, and how the choices we make in our everyday lives can have an important impact on the water environment. The network is rather young, so it's difficult to evaluate the impact it's had on overall aquatic literacy in Sweden. But we can say that our members have benefited from new knowledge and new ideas and contacts within the network. Recently we conducted a survey among our members, 380. And from the answers of that survey, we can say that a vast majority of our members find the network helpful in their professional roles. In conclusion, our concept of ocean literacy is to include all waters from source to sea and to strengthen actors working in this field by providing knowledge building activities, inspiration and opportunities to exchange experiences. And together with the boost from the upcoming UN Ocean Decade starting in 2021, we hope that we in a few years time can answer the question if the Swedes are ocean and also aquatic literate with yes, of course we are. The network collaboration is initiated by the Swedish Agency for Marine and Water Management and facilitated by the Swedish Institute for the Marine Environment and the Swedish Centre for Nature Interpretation. If you want to know more, please check out their websites.